Uh, hello. In this recitation, I'm gonna solve one of the your CTF problems, and then uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding the homework, I'm happy to answer your question. And the question that I'm gonna solve is this one: find that path. Mm, as you can see, it has some hints in description of the challenge. It says that you need to find a password and the passwords correspond to the flag that you're looking for. Also, it mentions that it's not in this format. It's probably good to know that it's not in this format. Okay, let's change the screen that I'm sharing with you. Uh, uh, this um, question we can solve it using GBD, uh, GDB, yeah, sorry, uh, but um, it's not recommended because it requires you to have a complete knowledge of assembly language so that you can understand what happens in the assembly language and also you can follow instructions in order to understand what the program does. So uh, it's recommended to use Gitra, uh, which is one of the application uh, that the uh, professor uh, mentioned in the class. Uh, here uh, is when you run the application. Uh, first thing you need to do is to go to our file and create your project. Here I created a project called test. Uh, after that, uh, under the file, uh, you should uh, import the file, the binary file that you have. Uh, exactly the binary file, for example, here in this example uh, that was provided uh, for you in the CTF website. Uh, once you import your file, it has the option that you click to analyze the code. Uh, when it analyzes the code, uh, it uh, gives you different function. Uh, here I selected to see main function, disassemble code. Uh, the nice thing about uh, this program is that uh, it gives you the decompiled version of main function. Here, as you can see, uh, this is uh, the decompiled version. We're gonna go through this main function uh, to see if we can understand what, what's happening in the function uh, and what's the password or how we can how we should guess the password. Um, here in this code, uh, at the first, uh, a few hexadecimal value uh, has been defined uh, with the name of uh, local forty five from zero to 12, okay? And then after this, we can see uh, this kind of function. Uh, using this function, uh, it gets the user input and put it in the uh, local 38 variable. Uh, and here we can see it has defined a variable called uh, uh, local 58. And after that, there's a do while loop. And in the do while loop here, um, at the one line before to the end of the program, we can see it add one every time uh, to this local 58. So it somehow acts as a character for us. Uh, okay, let's continue here. Uh, we see that if, we can ignore for this part of the code, but uh, I can show that here in the, if it checks if the um, local 58 is bigger than C, which is uh, a hexadecimal value, its int value would be uh, 13 or 12. Yeah, 12, I guess. Mm. The main important part about this program is this comparison that happened here. Uh, it 
comparison to values and if they're not uh, equivalent it prints fail uh, so it's important to understand what are these values that it um, compare it, it do the comparison for uh, one of them is local 45 that we saw here right in the beginning of the program uh, and the other one uh, is uh, local 38 that here we saw it gets it as the user input and it checked them character by character using the counter uh, that we mentioned uh, every time uh, before the comparison happened uh, it XOR the value uh, with the 56 hexadecimal uh, and then That's it. Having this knowledge, what did we understand? We understand whatever we give to the input of this program, which is the password that we found, it checks uh, it check it uh, with a value that's hard coded in the code, in the beginning of the code, uh, with a 56 hex value. So it seems like that we understand what the program uh do and we are able to uh, crack it and find a password how should we do it having these hard-coded values uh each hexadecimal value and knowing th that it has been XORed with 56 uh, we can simply write this point on um, program uh, where i defined an array uh, and put each of these values, each x value, uh, as an element of this array. Uh, then, in a for loop, uh, we can uh, XOR each value with 56. And as a result, what we have is the password or the flag that we're looking for. Here, if we print the cars, it shows. Uh, each of the character of the password by using the join function, which is a, a Python built-in function. Uh, we can see the result, which is printed here for you. Um, if you just use strings, uh, which was uh, the key to solve the first re reverse engineering problem, uh, you would see another flag which was uh, somehow a dummy flag uh, which told you do not look here uh, you should realize you should look somewhere else for the real flag and that's it I, uh, as you can see it was uh, having this tool using the gitra it was pretty straightforward to solve this problem now if you have question whether regarding this ctf or homework uh, you can type in the chat box Uh, regarding the other challenges, we will not co uh, cover all of them in this recitation, uh, but probably in the upcoming recitation, other TAs will go through them.